Some time ago, I created a workout system in Notion. Today, I've replicated that system with a bit more functionalities and buttons to create actions and add data to your workout management system in Coda. So this is Coda.io, and this is basically meant to be a sort of app for you to customize it and to track your workouts at the objective level, programs, sessions, and tracking movements, and also seeing some graphs looking at the strength increases or decreases that you had over time on the key compound movements or on any movement that you choose because you can choose whether to display the movement on the strength charts or not. So let's look at this workout management system, what it looks like and what are the key functionalities. The idea of this workout management system is that to optimize your variables when it comes to training fitness, whether it be resistance training or cardiovascular training, tracking your key metrics and the sessions that you do and what you do in those sessions can be fundamental for you to progress over time and apply the principles of progressive overload. Having a program, in addition, also allows you to have that clarity of mind whenever you go into a session, you know exactly what to do, how many sets, reps, rest time, and after the session, you can also track your weight or how many reps you did, how many seconds you held that isometric movement, so that over time, you can see your patterns and how you progressed or not progressed so that you can make decisions accordingly. The very first page of the system is the Workouts Hub. So the Workouts Hub is a dashboard where you can see your week right here, and you will see your weekly sessions. So in the week of October 10th, right here, I have one session. And if you click on the session, that is a pool session. And I see that now we have some data here. When it ha it's happening, that's the 13th of October at 8 a.m., the duration is 60 minutes, and you can input that here. From here, I can choose what program this session is part of. And this is program test one. At the end of the session, you can mark it as completed. Once you come here to track your movements, because in here, you also have a quick table where you can choose or create new movements that you want to implement, perform in the session. And then at the end of the session, you can track them right here via this button. We basically have a whole database of movements already in here that you can choose from. And so let's say I go here, choose row, I can type pull-ups and pull-ups will come up because they're already part of the database. And so if you like, you can choose pull-ups right here and you will have the pattern, which is a vertical pull movement. You have the proper execution, which is a URL that will lead you to a YouTube video to watch on how to execute pull-ups properly. And then at the end of the workout, you can track the pull-ups and the reps and sets and weight that you lifted for this movement. At the same time, if the movement is not already in our database, you can also create a new one. So in here, let's say I did some boxing at the end of the workout, and there is no boxing really in our database. So I'm going to capitalize this, and then I can do create new. And this is now part of the session, and it's also part of our master movements database, where you can also refer back to all the sessions per movement. And so in here then, if you like, you can create a pattern, and you can add proper execution video. Otherwise, you can leave these empty. That's all right. So at the end of the workout, what you can do is you can track your movements, each of your movements. And so let's say you want to track pull-ups right here. You're going to click on the button track, and you have this pop-up window come up where you have the movement is pull-ups slash chin-ups. Here we have an ID that is automatic. You don't need to do anything with it. Then we have sets. Let's say I did three sets, and I'm pressing tab reps. I did 10 reps at one minute rest with a 70 kilograms that would be my body weight and here if you want to write down any notes that you have on how the movement felt or what to do next week then you can do so right here and now you've just added a new movement to your pull session that is pull-ups and down here you can see that we tracked pull-ups for three sets 10 reps percentage of one rm there is no percentage in this case then there is rest one minute weight 70 kilograms and some notes right here so whenever you press this button you have that pop-up window, you can enter your information, and that information will show up down here so that you have for each movement all the details of sets, reps, weight lifted, and so on. And this is the foundational feature of this entire system. You can track your sessions and movements and then keep track of all the weight that you lift over time. In this weekly view, you can also directly add a new session. So let's say today I did some less meals body combat, and I can go here. I can double click to create a new entry. 
here. It's called new event. I'm going to call it right there. And then date of time. Let's say here. I'm going to choose date is today. That's the right. Time is 9:30 a.m. The duration was 60 minutes. So I'm going to type 60 and then press enter. Program. This is not really part of any program, so I'm going to leave this empty right there. And then I've completed this session. And for movements, I'm not going to track anything here. But if you wanted to, you can just add a new row. And you might say boxing, Muay Thai, Capoeira, and whatever you need to track right there. And so here you have the whole week laid out for you. And if the session is today and it is completed, it turns green. So this one, for example, is not completed and it is gray. But if I come here and I do complete it, then it turns green as well. You can see here at the top right corner, there is an outline. And so fundamentally in this dashboard, there are two sections, sessions of the week, this view right here, and the sessions calendar. So you can step back for a bit and look at the monthly level, what your sessions look like. So you can see this week, we have two sessions complete, and then you have the entire month where you can refer back to what your plan looks like for this month. And these sessions right here, come directly from the sessions table that we have in here. So this is one of the components of the system and sessions are the actionable component of the whole system because sessions are composed of movements. And in here you have your calendar of sessions. And if you want to add a new workout session quickly, you can also click this button right here and you will have this pop-up window where you can enter the session name and all the information that we just saw because this is the same table as the one that we just used in the weekly view and monthly view on the workout dashboard. So for now, I'm going to delete this right here. At a higher level, this system has also a planning exercise where you can open this page and then expand the toggles. And here, the first exercise that you can do, if you like, the first time that you use this, is to set up your first objective. So the idea is that you break down your fitness journey into multiple layers. The first layer is the objective. What's your fitness goal right now in the next three to six months? So once you do this, you can input the data here in this form. You have the name of the goal right here. You have the start date that you can pick from here, the end date right there, and the duration, which is automatically calculated. So let's say the start date is Monday and end date. It's going to be December right there. You know that it's 55 days right there. And the fitness goal is, let's say, hypertrophy to 80 kilograms. And so right here you can do submit and now you have this message right here that says, fantastic, you just added your new objective into the system. And so if you go to the training objectives page on your left sidebar menu, you will see that you have a new objective right here that is hypertrophy to 80 kilograms, and it is automatically in progress. But if you want to move it out, you can do a drag and drop, and it's going to be not started. Whenever an objective is not started, it is gray. When it is in progress, it is blue. When it is done, it is green, just like that. And if you want to add a new objective quickly, you can also do it from this dashboard right here by clicking on this button that works exactly in the same way as the sessions button works. Each objective is a page as well. So you can open it, you can also expand in full screen. And then here you have the status, which is a select option right there. You have the start date, the end date, the duration, which is a calculation. And then here you can break down your objective into training programs, if you like. And so you can create a new row. And this table right here comes from the programs table that we have here on the left sidebar menu. So programs are the second level of resolution in this sort of hierarchical process of fitness tracking. And so the programs are composed of multiple sessions. Sessions are composed of multiple movements and movements can be tracked over time. So at the program level as well, you have a button to quickly add the new workout program and you can do so also in the planning phase right here. You have the second toggle that says create your first workout program. And here as well, you have a form. So you can quickly input your program name. You can choose an objective, for example, program and say objective is hypertrophy. Start date was Monday and date is going to be November 6th. And if you have any notes on this program, you can type them out here and you can submit. And now this program is part of your programs application right here. It is automatically active. You can see here and active programs as well are, bl are blue, future programs are gray, and complete programs are green right there. Each program is a page that you can expand right there, and you have the start date, the end date, you have the objective that you can select from the objectives table that we have. You have the status, which can be future, active, or complete, any notes that you might write down here, 
and then you have sessions in here because similarly to what you can do with objectives here as well you can break down your program into multiple sessions already if you have already your plan in mind then from here you can either choose an existing session or you can create new ones so from here you could create new and you're going to type the name of the session and say this is full body a then date and time so when are you going to execute this workout let's say this was or it's going to be on monday at 5 p.m the duration is 60 minutes by default but you can change it for sure right here then you have notes that you can expand to write down anything that you need and here is the full body a page and this is exactly the same page that we saw earlier in the workout dashboard where we were tracking movements and so in the full body a session you can already choose the movements let's say here we're going to have a barbell squat so you know the back squat right here we know that pattern is squat proper execution etc then here i can choose bench press and this is going to be barbell bench press then we're also going to have hip thrust so i can choose hip thrust and then bent over row barbell bent over row right there maybe a overhead press which is going to be a barbell overhead press and finally we're also going to do some triceps triceps push downs which as you can see are not already in our database of movements so i'm going to create new right there and now tricep push downs is right here we know that the movement is elbow extension so that's back behind the body and then proper execution if you want to add a link you can do it right here and then you can track the movement as well at the end of your session and this is at the programs level so sessions are right here then you have movements and this is the application where you have your entire database or table of movements so if you quickly want to add any movement you can also do it from here you can click the button and then you have that pop-up window as per usual where you can add your movement right here with the name you have the pattern that you can choose from the existing ones or you can also add new patterns by choosing the select option here and then select list options and here you would see that each option is separated by a comma so if you want to add a new option you can just type comma space and then type your option right there then you can choose if you want to allow multiple selections or not and if you want to have a default value for new rows then here is where you can find that here you have the link to the proper execution and the track details that's the button that you use when you track your movements for each session and the max weight track takes all your tracking over time and outputs the max weight that you've ever lifted on any given movement for example let's look at the pull-ups chin-ups for example here we see that the max weight track is 70 and it was done on one session right here for bent over row for example there are two sessions here and the max weight track is 60. and you can see these two sessions one is incomplete and if you hover over it you will see that completed is unchecked and the other one is complete because it's green if you want to track a movement into a chart then you can check this box right here you will see that right now we are tracking deadlift we are tracking bench press and back squat so the compound movements and if you go on your strength charts application here you will see that we have two different graphs your max weight per core compound movement so for now we only tracked the bench press and the back squat that's why we don't have the deadlift yet because we have any we don't have any data point for it but here you can see that for the bubble bench press the max weight that you tracked ever so far is 65 kilograms whereas for the back squat it is 82 kilograms for example and your progression over time looks at the compound movements and doesn't just output the max weight but rather the progression over time of all your tracking so here for example for the bench press we see that i tracked this movement twice on the first day i tracked 60 kilograms on the second day i tracked 65 kilograms so the slope is slightly upward and finally you also have documentation that you can look at at any time to understand how this works on the planning dashboard you also can already lay out your workout sessions of the month where you have this monthly view right there and you can pick or add all the movements for each session so whatever session you add in here on your workout sessions planning we also show up down here as cards that you can open so that within each card you can choose existing movements or create new movements that compose your workout session and finally really once all the planning is done the workout sub is the place where you can just be and you can also see your current objective is body recomposition until the 12th of march 2023 and that's because body recomposition is active so this is a formula here that automatically outputs the active objective and you can see that your current program is test one until 
January 8th, 2023. And this is also a formula, depending on the active program that you have. And that really is it to this workout management system application. There is space for customization, that's for sure. There's also a quite solid foundation in terms of existing movements and existing structures that you can take advantage of so that you just press buttons and choose movements and you can create your own workout management system in here using Coda. Thank you for watching for now. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comment or let me know by reaching out via the form in the description of this video. Thanks for now and see you soon.